Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be testing out some new makeup products that I have either received from PR packages or bought myself in the past months. I'm really excited to be doing this video because I feel like I haven't done a makeup video in a while. I've been noticing that you guys like my vlogs a lot more than my makeup videos. So comment down below and tell me what you guys think. Like, should I do more makeup videos or should I keep going with the vlogs? Or just let me know what you guys think because that would definitely help me out planning my content and all that. Just a little disclaimer, some of these products were sent to me in PR packages, but I didn't have to post about them. So all of these opinions are my own like always, and obviously some of it I bought myself too, so. <laughs> so keep watching if you guys want to see how to get this look. Alright guys, let's dive right in. First we're going to start with our moisturizer, and this has been my favorite thing ever. This product is by Soap and Glory. I always kind of underestimated them. I feel like the packaging always turned me a little off just because it's super colorful and right now I'm in like my little minimalistic packaging phase, but their products are actually so, so good. One of my sorority sisters was actually a brand ambassador for them, so we got so many free products this semester, so I have so many things to still try out. But this moisturizer, the Speed Plump All Day Super Moisture Marble, is one of my go-tos. Like, it makes me glowy, it makes me feel moisturized, and it keeps the moisture locked in, and it doesn't feel like dry in the next like five minutes. So I love this so, so much. The next step is to prime your face. This is actually something I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale, and I did a haul, so I will link it down below for you guys to watch if you guys are interested in purchasing some new products from Sephora. I honestly haven't tried it out as much because I kind of use that moisturizer as my primer. I don't really use primer anymore, but I'm gonna try it out today for the sake of this video. This is the cooling stick from Milk Makeup. I did get the smaller size just because I didn't know if I would like it, and honestly, I'm kind of glad I did. I feel like if you're really oily and you don't really want to moisturize a lot before putting on makeup, then primer is definitely something you need. Um, but I feel like my moisturizer makes my face kind of tacky already, so I don't really need primer. But I also thought this was going to be way more invigorating than it is. Like, I honestly don't really feel it cooling my face. And like, even when I put it on, it's like not even anything you would really notice. So... I don't know if I really love this. If you guys have tried this product, let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys feel it cooling on your face? Because I'm not really feeling anything. So next up for foundation is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Self Foundation. This might actually be the most expensive foundation I have ever bought. I did buy it on sale, but like it was still pretty expensive. I think I looked it up and it's probably like around $64, which is like actually insane. And I don't know why I did it, but you know, I was like treating myself or whatever. I do like this foundation. I like the formula and I like how it sits on my skin, but I feel like it's just not a product that I would think it's worth $64. So I'm using my beauty blender, my very, very dirty <laughs> beauty blender. Comment down below how often you guys clean your beauty blenders. I'm very interested to know because I like rarely do it, even though when I do get it wet, I could just go ahead and clean it every time. I'm just too lazy, you know? I do like that this foundation has a pump because the last one I used, the NARS one, didn't have a pump and it had a pump in store. So it was kind of like a tease in my mind. You know, I thought it came with a pump, but it didn't. So I think you have to buy it separately, but I was just like, you know what? No. Moving on to concealer, we're going to be using the Tried and True Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I am in the shade Tan Sands. Next, we're gonna set our face. I have this new product. It's from Pure, and it is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It's really cool packaging. They have this little handle, and you just pull it out, and it's basically like the sponge you apply the translucent powder with, which is super cool, so you can do it like all over the face. Ooh, it smells really good. Smells really, really, really good. It smells like sweet or something like that, but I really like that. So I'm just gonna use this as an all over setting powder. And then I'm going to use my Too Faced Peach Powder to um, bake specific areas. Speaking of products that smell good, this Peach Perfect Too Faced Powder smells so good. You can't really complain when your makeup smells just like candy, unless you're on a diet. And that would just be 
torture. So I'm just gonna go on my eyes and right under my eyes and I think I'll be good to go. I'm also gonna go right on the sides of my nose just because I feel like whenever I wear sunglasses the makeup just comes right off. Setting it helps it a little bit um, so nowadays I do that just because I'm always wearing sunglasses. So I'm going to do my eyeshadow off camera. I'm just going to do like a simple brown smoky eye that I do in every single makeup video. So I'm going to skip over that really quick and I will be back. So I just did my eyeshadow, wiped off all the bake, and now it is time to get into my eyebrows. So I'm gonna be using two products to do this. First, I'm gonna be using the Brow Vow Conditioning Primer by Benefit Cosmetics. I've heard great things about this when you want to grow out your eyebrows, and as you can see, mine are super thin because, I don't know, the eyebrow ladies just love to give me thin eyebrows. I don't know why I say clean them up and don't like touch my actual eyebrow, but it's fine. But I'm always looking to grow out my eyebrows. I definitely am not consistent with this product, so maybe I should try doing it every day. But I just saw a tutorial and I wanted to try it out for this video. And it's basically like more of a bushy brow. So you use this product and it actually holds your brow in all day long. Usually I use like a tinted brow gel, but I feel like my eyebrow hair still move throughout the day. So let's see how this works. It's really cool because the applicator is actually textured. So it kind of like combs your brow hairs. Next is the most exciting part. This is the new, I think it's new. I think it came out this month. This is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. So basically this is like a pen on one side and then on the other, it's like this powder kind of thing, but the pen is amazing. Oh my gosh, it actually like looks like hair like strokes, which is insane. So this is the difference with this brow product. This is the done brow and this is the undone brow. It's definitely really natural, but it also gives you enough brow to make it glam, if that makes sense. So these are some more products from Pure. These are the fully charged mascaras. So it comes with a primer and a regular mascara. I'm really excited to see how this works. I feel like the last time I used a mascara primer was like when that Physicians Formula set was really popular. So, that was kind of a while back. Dang it, I forgot to curl my freaking lashes before I put this on. Ugh. Maybe I'll just do it. YOLO. Now I'm gonna go in with the actual mascara on top of that primer. I wonder if I had to let it like, whoa. Look at the difference, holy poop. But I wonder if I was supposed to let the primer like dry a little before putting it on the mascara, but. I mean, it's doing some right, so. I've also been using the Bad Gal Lash, I think that's what it's called, by Benefit Cosmetics. Um, and I mean, I really like it. I've been getting a lot of compliments on my eyelashes, and I've been using that one. Um, and I also have been using the Gigi Hadid Maybelline Mascara. It looks like this, and it is in like the same kind of tube as the Lash Sensational by Maybelline, which is like my all-time favorite mascara because it has that curved wand, which I really like. I literally picked it up at TJ Maxx for like $5. Check this out, check the Bad Gal Lash out, and definitely check out this pure like primer set. Comment down below if you guys use mascara primer in your everyday routine. I don't know if I would do it on an everyday basis. Like if it's like really doing something for my eyes, then like, okay, but I don't know, we'll have to see. I know it's probably like super bad for my eyelashes, but I do curl my lashes after I put on mascara. Um, so that's why my eyelashes are always super duper long. If you guys were wondering, you know, sometimes you just gotta risk it for the biscuit and get long eyelashes by curling them afterwards. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use the Gigi Hadid mascara for my bottom lashes because having a curved wand for your bottom mascara is just so much more convenient. So this is also a new product. It's the Buxom Sexy Smoky Cajal Powder Liner and I'm going to be using it in Smoldering Brown. I'm just gonna like try to do it on my bottom lash line and see what, see what I think about it. 
I always think I need something on the bottom lash line, but I'm always too scared to do black because I used to do it in like middle school and I told myself I would never do it again, but maybe I just didn't do it right and maybe I just needed to like smoke it out a bit more. So this is it with it and this is it without it. I feel like it definitely makes my eyes look a lot bigger when I put this um, on my lower lash line and like under it. It's a really cool consistency because it's like a felt tip pen kind of deal but it has like that powdery feeling when you're like swatching it. Now we can finish up the face. I'm going to be using the Pure Contour Diaries. I've heard like a lot of good things about this. This was actually their best seller I think last year. Um, and so yeah, let's let's dig into it and let's see what this is all about. I don't really know which color is mine So I'm gonna go from the lightest to the darkest and we'll like build it up and see which one so I'm gonna go in with secret and So that one's more of like a ashy kind of contour let's go in with passion which is the middle contour color Okay, and that's like a little bit of a red. And that actually looks really pretty. And let's try Mystery. It's the darkest color. I actually really like how I, you know, built it up with all those colors. Because if you start with the darkest and you don't know, that could like mess up like your whole look. So this contour is so pretty because it kind of looks like I have blush already. It like gives like a lot of color to my face, which is really nice because some of my bronzers don't do anything. I think I'm gonna take Secret and try to contour my nose with this. Guys, this is such a good contour color. Like I actually look like I have a snatched nose right now. And that's like the first because I don't know how to contour my nose. So next, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Professional little palette that I actually made. So I have a contour, a blush, and a highlight color. And since we already contoured, I'm going to use the highlight. And this brightens up your under eyes so much. It's just so beautiful. Like when the Sephora lady like put it on me, I was like, wow. Like I didn't think I would be able to tell the difference, but... You actually can. I actually decided not to use the blush in the Makeup Forever palette. I'm going to be using this one from L'Oreal Paris. It is in the color Soft Sun. And I feel like this is in pretty much every one of my makeup tutorials. It's definitely just a good basic to have. So for highlight, I finally caved in and got the MAC strobe cream. I really like this and I actually apply it like after my whole face is done because when I set my face with setting spray, I get wet anyway. So I was just like, you know what? Might as well put my little cream highlight on then. So I actually just picked up a new Max Fix Plus because funny story, actually really not funny story, but I had like a mini bottle of the original Max Fix Plus and I forgot to lock it and it literally leaked everywhere and I just got it and I traveled and then I saw that it was like leaking everywhere and it was like literally all gone so $12 down the drain thank you very much but now I learned my lesson always lock your max fix plus because you don't want it to leak it's not cheap so I actually got a bigger bottle this time and I got the lavender scent I go a little crazy on the spray I know <laughs> So while that's drying on my face, I just grab my beauty blender, I grab my MAC strobe cream, just kind of get like a little dot on your beauty blender, and then go at it. And sometimes I put a little bit on my brow. So for lips, I actually also have a new product to share with you guys. You guys know one of my favorite lip colors is Cork by Dose of Colors in the liquid lipstick formula. I thought I should try out another color in this formula, and it is Desert Suede. It's definitely lighter than I expected, but I can always put like a lip liner over it. I also recently received some Buxom lip glosses, and they're all so colorful. All right, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the copper. Let's try it. Really, really pretty. Oh my god, I totally forgot that Buxom's lip glosses are like super invigorating. I actually love any kind of like chapstick or lipstick or lip gloss that's like that. And there's this one called, um, what's it called? I think it's like, oh, I think it's called Lip Freak and it literally makes your lips go numb. It's like insane. It's kind of addicting. I've definitely talked about it in one of my vlogs before. 
If you like that invigorating feeling that Burt's Bees has and that Buxom has, then you should definitely go check out the Lip Free Climb because it's like actually insane. Definitely try it out because it's like, it's definitely an experience to experience. This gloss paired really well with the lipstick. It didn't really overpower it and it just kind of gave it a nice shine with some gold flecks. All right guys, so this is the complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and seeing me test out some new makeup. If you are interested in any of these products, the links will always be down in the description box. So go check them out. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys end up purchasing some of these products. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.